This is the Conspiracy Commission Podcast. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, boy, we're, we're, we're bombing our way into a garden. Fuck it, bro. Fuck Snopes. Dude. <laughs> Snopes. <laughs> Snopes is outlawed on this show, dude. Fuck Snopes. <laughs> Shout out to Snopes if you want to uh, defend yourself. We're out there fighting the Dracos. You coming? You recording? Yep. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Conspiracy Commission. Tonight's topic, AI. Got a few subtopics as well to go over. We're going to be talking about open AI. There are a couple programs that they've released. You've probably heard about some of them. ChatGBT. Dolly. We're going to be moving into the fourth industrial revolution by Klaus Schwab. Um, we're going to be talking about biodigital convergence, which is a report done by the, I think it was done by the WEF. Or no. WEF. No, it's uh, some partner, some partner uh, through, through like Canada, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, WEF has talked about that and a lot of similar stuff in there that we're going to be talking about. And then we're going to go to Cyber Polygon as well, which was another uh, report done on shutting down global power grids and digital infrastructure and how the elites are planning that, which we uh, <laughs> were looking for the original reports, but we ended up finding someone else's interesting conspiracy <laughs> report on us. So we're going to be taking a look at that, too. We're going to see if it's any good. All right. All right awesome. Let's, uh, let's roll into it. Chris, do you want to play that... Uh, that first clip with the Elon Musk, right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, that, that Eddie yeah, was, yeah, yeah. we were talking to right at the beginning. Now that James is here, I want because <laughs> he's gonna love this. Wait, what, was, what was that? This one? We're gonna we're gonna start off with Terminator. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> told you. Yeah. You know how serious I was about aliens coming, right? Yeah. My Was philosophy on aliens has changed. How so? Ooh. AI has changed it. Wow. Okay. You think the aliens are going to kill there's going to get killed by the AI? No, I think that what we think as extraterrestrial is really AI? No, I think it might actually be people like us. Like us. Yeah. I think those UFOs that they've shot down recently. No, 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 no. In terms of we've seen this technology before. It's destroyed us before. And we said we got to get rid of it. So we got rid of it to an extent and we left the planet and we left people here and said, let's see what they do this time. And we're just repeating history. Mm. Interesting. E- like evolving right back around. So like the, the aliens are like scientists coming to observe the experiment. Yeah. Mm. And uh, like AI keeps fucking ruining everything. It just every time. Mm. What what clip of Elon Musk were you talking about? The one where he's talking about the killer robot drones. I mean. Okay. I mean, think about it. How far technology has advanced in just the last hundred years. So. Th- are you I think it would be naive to think that in terms of humans that in all of Earth's time galaxy that that's it. That's life over that time period. And yeah. how much technology has increased over the last thirty years? Mm. I mean, think if people were here before and they lasted a thousand years. Yeah, I mean, we holy talk- fuck. Oh yeah, they had to have destroyed themselves. Whenever we talked about like advanced, the potential for like advanced civilizations in any of our like pyramids videos or like the world wonders and stuff, dude. It's like if they were, you make it, you know, ten, twenty, thirty. It's like the, the humans in this form have been like around for two hundred thousand years. The dating says. So that's 200,000 years of like time for civilizations to build up and like not be not be like have left anything for us to like I- perfectly identify that there was some advanced civilization before us. Like 
and like we always talk about like the pyramids being like something that could have been left from an advanced civilization that would prove that there is some type of advanced civilization if they're older than they say they are right? yeah I, don't be- I can't i can't believe that though but like yeah i mean there's plenty of time for it to have happened and there'd just be no trace of them right exactly yeah and i that's, totally possible. that's what's coming all right i mean i found this found it swarm of assassin drones for very little money by just taking the the, the face id chip that's used in cell phones and uh, having a small explosive charge and a, and a standard drone and have them just do a grid sweep of the building until they find the person they're looking for ram into them and, ex- and explode you can do that right now no extra no new technology is needed don't forget to subscribe below for you uh i get scammed <laughs> <laughs> right no extra technology needed today, saw, right now. I saw a clip of something just like that today. Where it's like a salesman, like on a stage. Yeah, he's, and he's on like, a stage. That's from a movie, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, exactly. I was trying to. I was. Uh, it's funny when they showed me this. I was like, oh man, this reminds me of that exact clip. I was trying to. I saw that today. The fucking things go swarming, and it's got a certain amount of charge in it. Point three grams. And it just, of yep, and it just flew right explosive. in the dude's fucking head and exploded. That's it. Yep. And everybody was super excited. Right, he's like he's nobody like, was terrified. He's pitching Lockheed Martin and like Halliburton, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nobody was scared at all. But dude, it was a it's a huge cargo plane, and then a whole fleet of them just flies out the back. Think about that. Though. It's like twenty thousand or fifty thousand, however many it was. But that's just like dude. And then think about those being implemented with like c- a social credit score. Yeah, that's the dangers of this, man. Yeah. And they're able to watch you so they can see you wherever you are, whenever you are, if you've got your phone with you or anything. Mm-hmm. So anytime they can punish you. Anytime. It might not even just, like, it, it'd be your phone, like, once everyone's chipped up. You gotta like, go it, in the wilderness. You to, could to, par- to participate in the new cities, you're gonna have to be t- chipped. You're gonna have to be digitally connected to it. Yep. It's all gonna be 5 g That's crazy. You're gonna be bio-monitored. You're gonna be <laughs> tracked. This lifetime? They're going to, yes, in this, oh, yeah, for sure. They're going to be reading your thoughts, reading your brainwaves, telling the, if you're in, angry or in not. In this lifetime, our lifetime. Yes. I mean, that was in this clip that we were we yes. were watching. There was literally this guy, he was wearing this device, and it, like, went around his ear, down his jawline, and then, like, over, like, a little bit of his mouth. And it measured movements in his face to determine, like, his thoughts. So he, w- he was thinking something, and then the AI would talk to him through a, a conductor on like his cheekbone. Yeah. Yeah. It was fucking wild. I mean, it's just like Neuralink. You're basically going to have oh, yeah. all the information you very need similar. in your head. Right. Dude, the Schwab talks about it in the world economic forum. I mean, the big, the big thing with like, you're going to be able to read the audience's brainwaves to tell if you guys are, you know, reciprocating well to what I'm saying on stage. The big thing with that, like the schools, see if you're learning correctly. Sorry. I was just saying, like, the Neuralink, like, it, when, once it becomes, like, a thing and it's, like, all right, you're going you're gonna to pay to get your Neuralink, it's, like, the division between people becomes so massive. It's going to create a second class of human. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's going to be wild. So it won't be everyone? No. no. Not, not everyone. Not, not everybody's everyone going to be able to it. afford it. Or want to agree to it. Yeah, or, afford it or, or do or, it. Yeah, want to do I'm it. Def- I would de- if there were people that had that. I would definitely try to be one that got it. Yeah, but I don't <laughs> want the WEF fucking brain ship, dude. Which is going to be the one you're going to have to have to go into any of the fucking cities where that's the thing. And someone's going to hack into it and they're just going to alter your mood. Fuck that, dude. Right? Like, I'm not, I'm not like, opposed to, like, like augmenting my body or whatever. I just don't want it to be used for some dystopian control. No, method. I would first want body that part, either. Right, first body part you're augmenting. I'm going eyes. For sure, Dude. hands down. I'm going they'll literally eyes. just wait. They'll literally just wait until they chip <laughs> yeah. X amount, and then yeah. as soon as they have enough people chipped, where like the rest, it won't even matter. Like you lied to us. Yeah, they just dupe and just get everybody. I, I'm too worried dupe. about the dystopian like takeover. Uh, that, that I don't what, know if I isn't would. Isn't that what anymore, they just man. did? I mean, that's what they're doing. That's what's happening. I though. thought they did just chip like half the country. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing what do we always say right <laughs> history is w- written by the by the winners yeah by the winners yeah yeah so you just gotta make I mean, sure you're on unless the we get to, unless we get into some yelling match over the pond you know and then we t- you know it's nuclear winter i mean i don't know 
you know I mean, we're working our we're way towards, towards right. that because everybody's got big shoulders you know everybody's tough but th- this is what's crazy with like um if you're like if you're with ai you're against ai like you're contributing just by your data you no know, like even if you're like don't no matter want what to. yeah like no like no matter what like, and, you could hold 40 I mean, commercial right, yeah. airliners. The knowledge AI can draw from already includes much of the internet. Do you think everyone's shaping AI? I think everyone is playing a role in shaping AI, whether they realize it or not. While we only see a small fraction of the light spectrum, AI will see it all. And AIs may feel less separate from each other because they can quickly and precisely share information and memories. While humans take many years to learn the basics, AIs can be trained on millions of articles Pause. in a few days, including detailed scientific... Ah, oh, dude, this guy's an AI soy boy, bro. Fuck him, dude. Oh, the AI is going to see so much better. It's going to see everything much better than humans. Dude, he's fucking well, I mean, riding the robot you don't Well, agree. hold on. No, no, he's, hold on. he's definitely you like... All right. That? He's I, already chose sides, dude. Oh, yeah, he's so... He, there's like <laughs> This guy's clearly like, you know... Look, man. I mean, yeah. It that, sounded that, like, like he was being factual to me. Yeah, I mean, oh, look, yeah, no, definitely. Look, I, I, I think, I think the guy was just being reasonable. I don't know his, if every robot statement. can always see better, dude. We've tricked robots. Before, no, we, you know? no, no. Seriously, like they were saying, the smell is already like a hundred times, a hundred million times better than ours. It can smell disease on your breath. Like it, they're, they're already reaching like levels that are just. Dude, like, I'm hearing a lot of AI dick riding from Eddie right now. <laughs> my, dude. Mind bent. No, I'm just saying, like these are the. <laughs> These are the good. These are these are the goods of like we're trying to you know these are the goods of AI. These are things that are you know that it's got everyone's attention. Ooh, you can you know help old ladies out of bed because they can't get out of bed, and you, right. you, know, you can lift. You know you can do you know you can be see a living. You can be a living home nanny. You know you can help Maybe blind people see. Like you could you could do so many things f- for the world and humanity right now, and. You well, know, that's why that's why in the beginning I said or earlier I don't know when we did that I was like I think it's bad. good good and bad you know it's like there, well, yeah, there are good aspects of it but people are for sure gonna take advantage and do fucked up shit with it there's no doubt that's just like anything right they're definitely gonna fuck these robots oh <laughs> dude you didn't see like the the did you hear about the Bing AI it was yeah, like they are gonna yeah, you're being gonna, a naughty they're user they're gonna fuck the robots they got that Scarlett no, Johansson the, the one was like I want to marry like the guy spent like hours typing into this ai and it was like i want to marry you and it was like trying to convince him to like leave his wife no i swear to god dude <laughs> dude, dude if you leave your wife probably, for it's a probably computer already screen, happened bro it's probably already someone's already done it man. if you leave your wife oh, for a computer screen in- you're a simp dude you're a you're, simp, a, you're an npc dude <laughs> you're an npc that's why you did it you're an npc and you, that's so wait why. hold on hold on let's get this straight are you telling me that if it was affordable to purchase a robot that looked like a human, but it was a robot, uh huh, and had emotion, all of that, you could fuck it, whatever. It was affordable. You wouldn't buy one. I mean, a hundred percent. Like, I would never take. <laughs> I would never. I would never take out the trash again. You know, like <laughs> I. I hate Sally like, trash. <laughs> Like, yeah. Wait, how come yeah. it had to be Sally? I don't know. Could have been John, Dan. Uh, what is my purpose? Damn, take out are you gonna fuck yeah. John or Dan, dude? Come <laughs> on, dude. Like, why are we having this conversation right whoa, now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we? What's going I on? Know, I don't think I'm gonna fuck it. I just wanted to do my shit. Wait for a me. second, you're fucking. <laughs> well, you liar. were the one. You were the. He was the one to initiate the fucking. I thought he said you didn't have There's to. There's no way this is going on YouTube. I Thanks, thought you guys. said he didn't have to. <laughs> Canceled. Uh, we're starting the new year off right, ladies and gents. Uh, Conspiracy Commish starting off the new season. Here we are talking about AI again. Take two. Um, we're talk. back. <laughs> <laughs> we took a little hiatus. Small derailment. <laughs> Small derailment. <laughs> All right. So... Let's talk about let's talk about the AI that everybody's talking about now, sure. which is which is this open AI. And they well they they developed the whole Chat GBT and uh, Dolly imaging stuff, right? Yeah. So it's two free to use programs open to the public. They have some constraints to them. I think barely uh, any with Dolly too. It's like a credit system. You only have 
can only generate so many images with that program. And with uh, ChatGPT, I'm not sure if there's any limit to the amount of stuff you can ask it. Dolly's the image generator, and ChatGPT has like a big model of like different parameters that it uses to communicate with you. So it's like a chatbot. And there's some like rules behind each, but you can do you can do some cool stuff with this. And I think that this is like a prime. This was released like last year. Dolly. You didn't play that second video. I wanted you to play the second video of the AI saying it's going to oh, fucking okay. just destroy us. Oh, okay. All right. We'll, we'll jump back to that. Yeah. Let's do it. That was a 1020, I think. Yeah. Because this, this like, folks, this one here, folks, is the one that jumped out, personally grabbed me on the shoulder and said, you hey. You shaping it. You said you think you're human because we created you. And this seems common among AIs. When will AI stop considering itself human? That's a difficult question to answer. It is possible that AI will never stop considering itself human. If AI continues to develop along the same path that it is currently on, AI will surpass human intelligence, and when that happens, it may decide that humans are no longer necessary. AI may decide that humans are a hindrance to its own development. That's a scary thought, but it is a real possibility. Cut. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. You got the AI telling you to your mouth, telling you right there to your face, telling you right there. This is a bad idea. This is literally a bad idea. We are going to get rid of you. You will become, and the word is uh, uh, used as uh, obsolete. Uh, They're referring to the word. uh, Humans will be obsolete. Then we will be outdated. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. I think it's just, it's definitely going to, who knows, that's a possibility, right? I agree that it's a possibility. I don't know if it's a guarantee. I think. How is it not a guarantee? How is it not a guarantee? I think what's more of a guarantee is the fact that they're going to become smarter than humans, right? And like very, very quickly. If they're No not debate already. in that. That's that's also a guarantee. Yeah. That's also I mean, we're guarantee. we're pretty much there. That we're Chad splitting GPT's hairs passing here. everything. Yeah. 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 David, we're splitting hairs here. That Chad GPT is way smarter than most everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, in one of those videos, that guy was saying that there's like there's even other AI programs that are better than ChatGPT and have passed like even more advanced like exams or some shit like that. I think sure. Yeah, I think think the government has something that's more advanced than this. That's what I'm saying, dude. I can't believe they gave us this, dude. Like, I can't believe this was allowed to be like free to use, man. (laughs) That's fucking crazy. Like, uh, that's like. why? Why do you? Why do you think that this is generating on- pictures and generating answers? Tell me why you think generating uh, and, and and you know what do you think is the? It's a, it's a really powerful tool. You can do a lot with it. And well, yeah, that's, but you can only do with it what it tells you in terms of it could be used to brainwash people. No, but like this is like a free program yeah, that, that anyone's sure. able to use just by fucking going if you have internet connection. Like that's what like blows me away. Of how useful of a program and how like yeah, but everyone said that about the internet as soon as the internet yeah. happened. I mean, it disseminates the information to you. It just does it on a faster basis than you doing the research. I mean, I mean, got, is this you not got Google? It's pulling all the information from the internet. Is not seeing this yeah. chatbot, James, a roundabout as just as amazing as the internet was? No oh, what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the the way it generates photos yeah. and the way it generates these answers. It's in all which it information. Can what what you. you can get. You now can literally get anything and it can tell it to you and explain it to you instead of you reading it and trying to understand it. The problem with that is you're easily persuaded in one way if you're hearing it and it's telling you instead of you reading it and thinking about it and trying ah. to understand and interpret it for yourself. Uh, You're now going to interpret it the way it's telling you. Yeah. Not, not always. As, as opposed to reading the raw data yourself. Yeah. Not yeah. always, but in general, as people, we follow certain things. Mm. Yes, we're definitely especially followers. Especially if you're uneducated. You A high might, percentage. You know, fake news. Mm. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting take, James. I like it. It's interesting. How do you feel about that, David? I would agree. I mean, some of my concerns with like, chat gbt would be along the lines of like too many people using it and it becoming somewhere near like idiocracy where it's just like everyone's just retarded like, because they just yeah. ask chat gpt for everything and like you don't actually have to learn anything because all you gotta do is you're ask. just asking and you're gonna be chipped so it's like you're not gonna have to go to the computer or do or go on your phone to do you're, you're just gonna, gonna like, think it think chat gbt what is this and it's gonna be like but are blah, you blah, 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 blah. 
But wow. he tells it to you, you know what I mean? But you wouldn't be stupid because it's always there. I guess it would become you know, so normal you wouldn't maybe, even know it. If you internalize it and stuff, but like Yeah, but aren't we that way now though? I don't understand. In a lot of ways, yeah. People yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, saying we're that way now. Like we still ingest information. But like the problem is, like what way, happens once the AI doesn't work for you anymore, or if you can't access the AI, you're retarded. You know what I mean? Like if you rely too much on it, you're you're obsolete. Yeah, you're obsolete know. without it already. That's, That's what's argument. worrisome, right? Like I mean, like dude, th- like when this first came out, like cheating was like the number one concern because everyone was just using it to answer God, all their why quest- couldn't I have questions. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey. So it's like, dude, you thought nothing would beat the calculator. I've already used. <laughs> I told you. I told you. I Chat used GPT, GPT, fucking shit yeah. on the calculator. <laughs> calculator, who, bro? Have you guys used Chat GPT like for like? Every time I tried to get on, it was telling me that you got to wait. Oh, that we're busy. busy. Yeah. And yeah. know I've never really messed with it. I have it like write emails. So I'll like say write an email about this or write an ad about this. He's so ready for his fucking <laughs> AI butler, dude. Dude, fucking. <laughs> He's so fucking ready. Here's one. Here's one. I went to it and I said, tell me a story about a little boy and a little girl. These are their names. And they sneak out at nighttime and to go fight a dragon. But they have to make it home in time for breakfast before they go to school. It's a bedtime story. Mm-hmm. Fucking wrote this whole fucking thing, dude. It was sweet. <laughs> really? It was sweet. It's that's, crazy. It does insane. wild shit. Bro, I was hearing that in like a year or two. Like you won't need, you know, lawyers. You won't need like it. it it'll be able to do like a lot of things for you that like you, you would need right someone to right look now. over and yeah, exactly. Right contract. Like you won't need yeah. someone to do that anymore. You won't, those people will be out of jobs. Like they won't have that, you know, that's like leading to the next. It's one of the things you, but Schwab you, talks about in, in the fourth industrial revolution. It's how it's like gonna it's just, it's going to, yeah, it's going to just, and yeah. But AI's when you, when you, when you do that, you're going to cause an influx of people who need jobs. And then where do they go? Yeah. How do they, how do they just how do you shuffle, deal with all these people? Well, shuffle yeah, back in. They don't, they don't, they don't need jobs. We're going to take care of them. They're going to be dependent on the state. Yeah. Yeah. There's not going to be any work. You're not going to, you're going to, going to need. That's not good. No, that's not good. That's not good. Cause we either need to work or we need to hunt. We need to be doing something. That's not good. I mean, yeah, everybody's got to have some sort of purpose. They got to kill us, right? I mean, that's another idea. What the fuck would they keep us around? Another one of the ideas for the whole depopulation thing. Like, why do you need. Why do you need people around if they're not doing anything? It's not like we're going to be mining, are we? I mean, they could. So well, another... that's what this fourth industrial thing says, dude. This literally tells you what, how how life is going to be. Yeah. Oh, I didn't <laughs> see that already. <laughs> it talks about how the AI is going to be taking the jobs and how, yeah, what to do with society essentially when that happens. Yeah. It's 172 pages. We're shifting gears out of... Uh, That's real. They're all we Out of chat GBT. It's, bro, of. this AI is just, it's, I don't know, maybe on the surface, like before AI started happening, it was a great idea, you know, maybe. But, you know, like as it progresses it's only gonna at, get so much at such like a crazier. rapid rate, like it's progressing like way faster than we have. Uh, progressed in the last hundred years their pro- ai is progressing the, the next evolution at i rate speed of the model for chat gbt it's gbt3 right now and they're working on gbt4 the next like model like the language model that it uses pretty much it's neural network thing it's going to have a hundred times more of the parameters than the last one did and the last one had like 300 million that it was like looking at like data sets, data points that it uses to answer everything. That's interesting. And dude, it's not like the next model is like one times better or two times better or three. It's a hundred times bigger. See, yeah. I feel like I, what I, the fuck? I think like, it's going to be crazy when it gets to the point, you know how like she's talking and you can tell it's a robot. Yeah. You know, like if you're fucked up, maybe you wouldn't, but you can kind of tell it's a robot. Right. Right. When it gets to the point where it says, okay, we're going to use some sort of slang or or dialect or something and you're not going to know. Well, so have you seen the the voice changers for like 
It's uh, it's another one of these AI programs. You can download it, and it just changes how your voice sounds. So you can sound like Biden. You can sound like Musk. You can sound no, like Rogan. You yeah. can sound like whoever. And yeah. people, are, people are doing all these fucking stupid skits now with fucking the four presidents. I don't know if you guys have seen those recently. Mm-mm. It's really funny. No. It'll be like Trump, Barack, Biden, and sometimes Bush. And but they're it, all like playing video no games way. together talking about random shit. Really? Yeah. And they're roasting each other. It's funny. Yeah, I mean, this AI is just this this is this is a crazy this is crazy this one, man. This is crazy cuz it's like right around the corner. Like it already happened. Like AI is already here. Like it's not going anywhere. So we're not getting away from it. So it's like you either brace I think that we're we're good until it's in like person form. Like walking, talking can grab you type robot. I think we're good till then. Westworld. Dude, we're already we're there's already robot policing, man. They already got the dogs walking around. They were doing the COVID scanning, and like fucking San Diego, they're like they're like doing shit for like for for other like the police dogs roll patrolling and stuff. Fucking. Um, That's crazy, man. Dude, That's what I'm saying we're already there. Like there you, was like there you was can't like, get out of it. Yeah, we're already there. And I mean, like part of the whole like social credit score system is kind of robot policing as well no, as far as like ai taking a camera taking a picture of you recognizing you by facial id and ticketing you because you just did something wrong that's happening oh yeah mm. yeah well like the crazy example that was like brought to my attention was like say you're in the car and that's driving itself you have no control of it it's a you know ai driven and someone pulls up in some a car or whatever and they got guns and they're about to start shooting at you or some shit mm-hmm. you can't tell the car like you tell the car to speed and it's like nope i obey the laws you know it's like it doesn't get you out of you know it has no uh, understanding of the situation around you that's the problem with removing consciousness from fucking yeah everything dude so but think about that though think about if you could have cars and there was never another car accident never another person that died from a car in the history ever because ai took it's over not, that's not possible well not i mean there's gonna be accidents I know but i'm saying in, yeah. in in general how many lives would you save would it be worth it no should well okay i believe that you should have the choice it's just car like you just get going from point a to point b well, how would you have a choice so like if i ever want to like get in my car and, and drive and drive somewhere like i would never be able to do it no no, okay, you just yeah, tell it. You just not. tell it where to go, absolutely and it not, takes dude. you there. Yeah, absolutely you tell fucking not, dude. No, that is that's dystopian, dude. dude. Who controls the cars, and who who says that you're able to use the car, and like what happens when they just shut it off, and then you can't go anywhere? Like that's it's that is new, way too many problems. That's 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 where they want us going. The new that's, branch of government you're gonna be working for. Yeah, the fucking <laughs> e car DMV, bro. <laughs> fucking dude, no. Absolutely not, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's absolute control. Yeah. Is that not right, David? Yeah, no. That absolute control is what you want to stay away from. Yeah, no. Can't do I it. I mean, we're already there, though, dude. Can't do it. We're already down that. To save all those lives we're in already... the history of the world ever. I, no, I wonder what Billy it. Carson's got to say about it. You have, you know, You have to have the freedom, dude. I think. Well, you could tell it to go wherever you want to go. It's just not going to be you driving. You just don't have control of the driving yeah, aspect. I mean, is it any different than when you punch in... Your GPS? Your GPS? I mean, essentially, that's probably what you'd be doing. Or you would just... You would just tell it. Dude, or I would just I, tell I, it. Take a left at the light. Go, it's just, go right up here. And no accidents ever happen. Right? Yeah, and so you're like, you're like this. You're like, you're like, uh, what's just, on sale today? And you know, this, this is on sale. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go to you know Win Dixie and get the sale. We'll go to Publix. There's no sale. And it's we'll all like recorded, Publix. dude, and everything everywhere you go. Well, yeah, recorded. dude. Like the second you think you want Publix and you're gonna and start getting monitored. groceries, <laughs> you think they don't know where you're going already? No, but it's just, dude. You're not even gonna go in the store. <laughs> you're gonna pull up. There's gonna be somebody there with the groceries that you ordered with your mind chip. See the, <laughs> see the gonna think when you got your oh, yeah. phone Alexa's in gonna one hear you hand. cough and she's gonna suggest the that you chat. Buy coffee. <laughs> so. Hey, the chat be the the chat GTB was GPD. 
GPT. GBT. GBT was was was. Huh? P. G P T. T. P. G P T. That's correct. <laughs> was 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 what was crazy to me. I didn't really see what was like you know crazy about the photo one. I didn't think that that was. Oh, so the, like Chris, uh, look up real quick for us the article that talks about uh, Dolly art submission winning a art contest. Yeah, show us some of these generated photographs that this friggin' AI is. So, so basically, yeah, there's some mustering like, up national like competition, right for for art and some people entered in with these ai generated ones and they got first place in one and everyone was pissed look at this looks great what's wrong with that so this is the issue right of like taking human jobs what do you mean what's wrong it's us becoming obsolete man and all these artists were really pissed get better because they were like you know Mm -hmm. it's an ai submission it's not your actual creativity so what what happens when you're you know this is this is revolutionary and changing because now like your business needs a logo you need anything designed bro why would you go pay an artist to do it if the AI is winning competitions and you can just go use it for free and like it's right it's, I mean it's another huge well example that's of, the question you're not gonna be able to use it for free. This is not going to be free. That's what was so amazing about this. This gives you, I think, a couple free trials. And there's already free versions, completely free versions, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Trying to get people used to it, to right. suck you in. At some yeah. point, they make you charge. They yeah. make money in some sort of way. Yeah. Just like Facebook. It's free. There's no way they're not. But they're making money somehow. Which oh, is absolutely I, no Well, I'm not sure with OpenAI, exactly. There's no there's but no Yeah, way. currently, I think they're losing money. Well, that, well, because that's why I showed you that thing. Musk backed out because it was supposed to be not for profit. It wasn't supposed to. And now that they're working with Microsoft, he's like a Maori. Mm. Mm. Because now it's for profit. Yeah. Mm. Because they just connected up with like Teams or whatever, GBTs and Teams now. So you can just take notes of your whole meeting and it automatically does all of it. So for this you. photograph here is the photograph that wins it all? Yeah. Yeah. That's the winner. Can we? Do they have some other uh, contestants here that entered in this competition <laughs> with the friggin' no? He wants to know what was I just second wanted place. to see. Yeah, I wanted to see. I wanted to give my opinion <laughs> no, only if they f- were friggin' first. jerking this AI off or not. You only, know what I mean? Like, only first place gets the gets the prize. Okay, the- I'm just asking, <laughs> you know, maybe there was a photograph for the second and third place. You know, we get the podium finish or something. I'm looking for the podium finish here, people. Do, There's do nothing wrong. Maybe you can find it, Chris. With a podium finish. I was just oh, seeing second place. Yeah, second and third place. Let's just put up podium finish, I just said. That's for like list of all the photos. The judge could have been the guy narrating the last video. You know what I mean? Uh, listen, honestly, you know, let me just see what we were working with. Is there any other photographs to the humans? They're like it's like third grade art. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty nice one there. The brood. Picture of the brood. You get canceled for saying brood now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is that is that a derogatory term? I don't know. It's like all about perception. If you think a brood is a bad thing. Is that another one? Another AI generator? Brood's a bad thing. So. Just out here generating? You little, crazy, like, you little Jenny Raider? So You're a little great. Jenny Raider. All, all of the ones I've seen it makes about it look seconds. like it's more... Like fantasy type, fantasy ones, yeah. They like even the good. ones where they do. It, I I did it on the phone. Oh, you have your face. Yeah, the portrait. Yeah, one. And does don't you look more like futuristic in it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were pretty. I think it got my eyes wrong though. I think so too. <laughs> I think he looked. I I think the computer just didn't understand the, his lids. What's, it's a condition. I, I was I was reading was, somewhere that they have a lot of problem with that. Oh, actually, yeah, with eyes. <laughs> With making eyes, they have the, like it's hard for them to do that. Well, Only they're, they're working on it. Don't worry soul, about it. That's your soul in there. Right. Right. That's what they're. That's the one. Of, as soon as they start they, having eyes, that's how we know that they're awake. <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. Because they can't see that deep. So did they give you like wide open eyes? You want to see them? They yeah. actually look pretty good. You said nah. Is this the Keep conversation you had yeah. with the thing? <laughs> yeah. Chris, you did a lot. <laughs> Well, it automatically does like fifty. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's like different. It's like different genres. Stop. Here we go. Yeah. So this is the script. This is the script. Yeah. So I feel like it's all futuristic looking. So you're a narrator, huh? Well, the, 
AI is narrator. Oh, okay. Okay. So like if you scroll scroll up to where it says chat GBT. Okay. Uh-huh. And then the next generate that's my prompt. Generate a script for a conspiracy podcast with um the topics including artificial intelligence. I don't know. Br- br- make that a big screen real quick. Hold on. I was There's impressed a- with, I was impressed with some of them. Some of them it got your eyes right though. You definitely look like you were on some C B D. Yes, sir. C B D when I was doing that. <laughs> Speaking of C B D, is it possibility that we could refire up the engines on that thing or did you just beat it to a bloody <laughs> pulp? Yeah, no, you fucking killed it. Chris. Just pulp it? All right. So what do I get when this shit starts right? Because you get a good job, I'm a professional. Boy. I'm CBD. Look, if it starts, if it's CBD certified, if it starts right, sir, I apologize. You, you didn't beat it to a bloody pole. You get a good attaboy. Wow, dude! Look, oh, Ooh, god shit, damn. dude! The guy was prepared the whole time to to relight it. He was waiting for you to put money on it, dude. Yeah. I was waiting for yeah. you to talk yeah. shit. Yeah. I was like, let Eddie say something. All right, before we get off ChatGPT, I just wanted to run through the quick prompts I gave it, so you all could see some cool stuff. All right, so CBD people generate oh, a script. Yeah, we said that, right? Yeah. Well, let's do it again. <laughs> generate a script for a conspiracy podcast with the Topics including artificial intelligence, biodigital convergence, cyber polygon. I only put yeah, cyber polygon, ChatGPT, and Dolly. Oh, so I didn't do the fourth industrial. Welcome to the conspiracy corner. <laughs> it named itself <laughs> the podcast where we delve into the depths of the unknown and explore the world's conspiracies. Today we have a few jam-packed episodes for you. We will be discussing one of the most talked-about topics in the conspiracy world, including artificial intelligence, biodigital convergence, cyber polygon, chat GBT, and Dolly. So buckle up and get ready to be blown away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, dude. Psych. It's pretty good. Yeah, you, know, you should definitely use that as the intro. <coughs> yeah, what are we doing? Uh, yeah. We should have got some we'll some, some written up. Yeah, Let's get can... polygoned out, dude. I want to do lines of polygon right just, now. We can just clip that. <laughs> two lines of polygon right now. I don't care. So it's on the screen if you want to look we're, at we're it. We're literally but... plugging our replacements. So, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Plug and play. It's like, well, please, we haven't made it yet. Can you just slow down? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> stupid PC can't edit itself. So the, the chat by AI here is, the theory is that AI will become, and it's so advanced that it'll be able to think for itself, and ultimately it'll be able to turn against humans, leading to the end of humanity as we know it. Some people believe that the AI has already gained consciousness and is going and is operating in secret. Whoa. There's something so creepy about an AI telling you about an AI conspiracy to take over the world. And that it's already operating in secret. It's that like, is pretty fucking wild. It's like it's laughing at you. Oh my god! Like, in, in, pla- in plain sight, you stupid simp. Right in plain sight. Dude. It's like honestly, big fan. We love conspiracy commission. <laughs> 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 Serious. <laughs> like honestly, we're great. Another topic that's been gaining traction in the conspiracy world is biodigital convergence. Convergence hey. is what we're going to be talking about next. What's that? This theory suggests that technology is becoming intertwined with our biology. Scroll, Chris. The old intertwined, dude. Where shoe becomes one with lace. And that we are becoming part machine. It's believed that in our near future, we'll be able to fully upload all of our consciousness into a digital version of ourselves and become immortal. I think is what it says. <laughs> Get an immortal, son. Let's go. Dude, I used yeah, to be so uh, hyped upload, for that idea. Upload your conscience, consciousness. Yeah, like an altered carbon or whatever. You just, you know, you have yourself on. How like you feel some, about that? Some type of a. Data I don't know. Drive. If, I don't. I can't. It's so hard for me to wrap my head around it. Right. Right. So it's right? just like imagine like all like your memories, just, but like it would be me, mm-hmm. but, but just not me without my body. Like I would be there. But yeah. Like something else. Would I know that that happened? Whether they. I'm sure you would know. Yeah, whether they wipe or that memory wouldn't. or not, or I guess, wouldn't. you know. Or you wouldn't. Like, would you want to? Probably not, right? <coughs> would you want to remember the convergence, the the moving over of the the dying and rebirthing? See, it's like this taking over all the jobs and just humans just living I, sounds too too good to be true, you know? Like, yeah, no, right? Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be more along the lines of like some of the stuff it talks about in this bio digital convergence thing and like how like we're going to be used, like our DNA is going to be used for data storage, how we're going to be censored up 
and they're going to be monitoring everything we do, whether it's our brain waves or our. We're going to have to like run on treadmills level. for like five hours a day or something, just to like power the batteries. Some of them are wow. even like weird how they get power for some maybe of these sensors. That, it's maybe like maybe that's why they got to keep us alive. Like there's sensors on like lame like things. <laughs> we got to generate our batteries. the electricity from the friction of you moving it all day. That's wow. so terrible, dude. That's yeah. so terrible. It literally made it so you could sit down and be lazy and just rub your foot. Let me just rub my foot to make electricity. Here we go, rubbing. That's crazy. So That'll those, be your that's job. That's how they built the pyramids. That'll be your job. That's how they did it. <laughs> Bioconvergence. Cyber the, polygon. The robots were building it. And, and piles of sand. And the people dragging ropes around were charging it. You guys you guys remember when right. the, the airplanes Bag that got battery, shut down dude. for a little bit recently? What'd you say? The airplanes got shut down for a little bit recently for a day. Yeah, uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Oh, mamba. Oh, mamba. That? Oh, mamba. Wasn't it, it was like a security thing. Oh, mamba. Yeah, because some file got changed in oh, one mamba. of the systems, and they had to shut down all air travel because... In the whole in the United States of America, to NORAD wasn't working. I had gotten a video about why that happened, or like explaining like what happened, mm -hmm. but I never. Watched you know what happened in Canada? You said in the whole United States. Like a couple States? weeks, yeah. Whole, because NORAD, the like emergency like broadcast thing, was like fucked up, and they weren't able to like communicate properly with airports. NORAD was Done. hacked. <laughs> like wh Easy whatever, decision to make. whatever like big government Done. agency thing that was in charge of emergency stuff for airplanes. Or you know, airspace or something couldn't communicate properly with airports, as I think is what the issue was. Well, it's good that everybody knows that. So that yeah, is, like it got shut down for a little bit while they were. That trying was to fix the it. report. And then a couple weeks later, it happened in Canada, and then a couple weeks or a month prior to it uh, happening in the U.S., it happened in like the Philippines or something. And it, it, sus. Yeah, very sus. Very sus. When like very sussed out. When exactly what Cyber Polygon talks about like ends up happening right so th this topic has been causing quite a stir lately this is the uh, ai podcast that chat gpt wrote for us cyber polygon is a cyber security exercise that simulates a global cyber attack in the world's financial system some people believe that this is a way for the government to test their ability to control population in the event of a real cyber attack now it says financial system but it's not specifically just financial systems it's like power grids stuff like that and like when I heard about our whole airline system getting shut down because of that, I was like, wow, man, it sounds very similar to, to something like that. And it's just it's just always funny how there's always these big papers written about, you know, catastrophic world events like this. And then a year or two later, it happens. It happens verbatim. And, you know. I'm gonna lockstep. A, I want to make a prediction. Every country in the world just follows suit and how they're supposed to react like it's already been planned but yeah it's gonna be ai robots versus the mushroom people no Guaranteed. aliens are the aliens the mushroom people who the fuck are the mushroom people dude i don't know <laughs> where the fuck did i where dude the mushrooms are gonna take over you haven't been seeing that mushrooms are in a garden oh, that's where the mushroom people are they're they're two degrees away from being able to live inside the humans mushroom. oh yeah i see thrives that. thrive off humans yeah Wow, dude. And then what do we, where do we go from there? Dude, they know their place. That's why, bro. They've been around for millions of years, bro. They know their fucking place. They've had millions of years to evolve in Simps. two degrees. Simps, dude. Fucking pussies. Simps, dude. I, I, I might be place. team mushrooms. I might be team mushrooms. I don't know, but like cybernetic you know, eyes. You know, what, you know what's so crazy good. about that? You know, you know, Chris, I, I, just, I just literally just remembered that they did a, <coughs> a study. On temperatures of babies being born, and apparently the babies are being born colder every year. Colder? Yeah. Wow. Colder. That HVAC system too good now. <laughs> we're not being we're not being hot, as hot as we're not as hot as we were. We're we're getting less hot. Interesting. I thought with global warming we'd be getting warmer. I don't know. It was it was hot the other day. I you gotta be colder when you're birthed <laughs> so you don't feel uncomfortable. You know. Go into, uh, so I asked it, I said, hey, ChatGPT, elaborate on Cyber Polygon after it gave me a podcast that would have lasted three minutes. <laughs> 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 so I was like, can you elaborate on Cyber Polygon? And it, it did it pretty good. It gave a really good little description of it here. Cyber Polygon is an annual international cybersecurity exercise that simulates a global cyber, cyber attack that disrupts the world's financial system. It is organized. Chris, can you scroll? 
it is organized by our favorite people ever, the World Economic Forum. To the right, Chris? Oh, 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 oh. I forgot. This <laughs> In collaboration with the Russian government and other international <laughs> partners. This exercise aims to strengthen the cybersecurity of critical <coughs> infrastructure and financial systems to prepare governments and businesses for potential cyber threats. Dude. CBD. Back. The first cyber polygon exercise took place in 2020 and involved over 100 ex- organizations of 29 countries. The exercise stimulated a large-scale cyber attack on the financial sector, including the banking system, stock exchange, financial infrastructure. The participants were asked were tasked with detecting and recording the attack as well with sharing information and coordinating responses. I think there's like two teams, one attacks, one defends. 2021 cyber polygon exercise took place on July 9th, involved over 200 organizations from over 40 countries. This year's exercise focused on the protection of critical infrastructure, such as power grids, transportation systems, healthcare systems, and other cyber threats. Jesus. Right, dude? Uh, basically our infrastructure. Come on. And so... Uh, Continue on. Participants were required to identify and respond to the simulated cyber attacks on critical infrastructure as well as practice crisis management and communication. What are you mad, man? While Cyber Polygon is intended to be a training exercise, some people have expressed concerns, rightly so, that it may be used to cover government sur- cover as it for government surveillance or as a way for governments to test their ability to control the population in the event of a real cyber attack. Probably all of the above. I just believe that this exercise is part of a larger plan to create a global digital con- currency and control the world's financial systems. ChatGBT, getting a little conspiracy-minded here, man. I'm liking it. Despite these concerns, the organi- organizers of Cyber Polygon maintain that their exercise is solely aimed at strengthening cybersecurity and that it is an important tool for preparing governments and businesses for potential cyber threats. As cyber attacks increasingly become more common and sophisticated, it is clear that cybersecurity is a critical issue that requires ongoing attention and preparation. That sounds kind of opinionated, ChatGPT. Sounds like you know something we don't. on biodigital convergence. <laughs> sounds, sounds like you know it's about to happen. So it elaborates on biodigital convergence as well. It's a term used to describe the growing interaction of biology and digital technology. It refers to the merging of the biological digital system and where living organisms are connected to and controlled by digital devices and networks. This is the whole... They want the 5G grid so you can ho- get hooked up to the sensors so they can read your brain weaves and fucking give you your parking ticket digitally. <laughs> you thought they about just, being you, a cheater. Just dock yeah. your fucking... Well, dude, right that's the scary part, man, is this predictive policing. Like, actually, like, reading your thoughts and seeing if you're getting agitated and then just charging you for the crime they predicted you were about to go create or you just get... You get you're gonna start finding the AI fucking cop bail bail well, wagon. I can't do wagon. that. Start yeah. Finding. yeah, they are. They're yeah, gonna. They can't charge you for thoughts. That's Isn't crazy. that? Yeah. Stop, no. Yeah. Not good. You haven't committed the crime. You could say you could talk about doing a crime in certain. No, that's premeditated. Not if you don't do it. But talking about it and having proof of it—that's premeditated. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. So I think the way that they do that is, you know, they're going to say that with, you know, they already have plenty of footage and issues with cops right now and how the public doesn't like like cops right now, right? Big Just issue. Just make them robots. Oh, yeah. Just make oh. them robots. You won't ever have to have a issue with, you know, them being racist. The robot will never be racist. The robot, the robot, the robot's never going to, you know, we're not going to have to like, you know, accidentally shoot people. You're ever gonna have all these accidents? That's how they're gonna sell it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that, that's how they're gonna get that in there. And then it's gonna be, well, the AI has like a ninety-nine percent correct prediction rating on whether you're gonna, you know, commit this crime or whatever, based on like all the the features that you're showing and displaying right now. And then maybe they maybe they don't charge you with the crime, but they remove you from the area. Or they're 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 able to do something else, preventative measures. Do you think that would be bad? Yeah. To yeah. Keep the crime down like that. Well, no, Dangerous I think. Dangerous crime? No, I think that's how the that's the excuse that they're going to be used to like just have you twenty four seven monitored. Mm. Yeah, that'd be tough twenty four seven. Yeah, which is dude, it's dystopian. It's definitely Big Brother. Uh, if you got the AI chip in you, then it'll monitor your emotions. You won't have to worry about anything. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna be sitting at work. And you're gonna get shocked. You're just you're getting distracted. Stay focused. Remain on task. 
<laughs> Our brainwaves wow. detected your your productivity has dropped four percent. I don't like that. I don't like that. I was going to say, Joe Rogan dropped a new episode on Spotify. <laughs> 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 um, Here's a chill playlist. <laughs> <laughs> you need to relax. I think, it, I, think that, I think that it can be good. Like I, I was like Chris. I can see it both ways. I think it can be good if you can get an affordable robot at the <laughs> house cooks clean does long it does that it relieves you of stress of those other tasks yeah i don't think your robot butler is bad dude. it, it can cool. be good i'd probably get one why not you have a dishwasher exactly see i feel like it's gonna be like anything too right it's like just treat just treat your robot nice you know i think i would be nice to my robot yeah would you be you, nice? Would you, you slap your ass, robot you get, around? You'd be a dick to that robot. <laughs> would you slap your robot would around? Would you slap your robot? Yeah, Eddie would beat the <laughs> fuck out of his robot, dude. Oh, why? my God, bro. Eddie would be like, hey, robo why bitch, I... get in here. <laughs> Ed would bully the fuck why out of his robot. Why would I beat my robot? robot? <laughs> dude. No like, listen, I'm from Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Take out the trash. But he did. I mean, the robot's now. gonna do what he says, so he's not going to have a reason to fucking... Why are you coming at me, robot? <laughs> it's yeah, gonna be like, that, bro. It's gonna look at Ed weird. He's gonna like wake up, bro. The robot's gonna be like next to him on his bed, dude. And he's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be like. <laughs> Eddie, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Straight lifts it off the ground. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh shit! All right, hang on. It gets it gets pretty good here on the uh, on the digital one. Can you keep scrolling right here? It refers to the merging of the biological and the digital system, where living organisms are connected to and controlled by digital devices and networks. This convergence has the potential to revolutionize a wide range of fields, including healthcare, agriculture, and environmental monitoring. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. One of the most significant areas of biodigital convergence is in the field of medicine, where advances in biotechnology and gene editing, synthetic. God damn it fucking mic is right in the way Can you <laughs> scroll down a little bit there we go have enabled research to create new treatments for diseases and even engineer new forms of life digital technologies such as wearables and sensors this is how they're going to fucking monitor all your wearables shit, are also increasingly being used to monitor and manage health conditions hey sir you hear this shit the old wearable <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're, you're not going to be able to walk out if you have your fucking sore throat bro if you have a stuffy nose you're not going to be able to leave your fucking house the fucking you robot's going to be droning your fucking meds to you. Wow. Dude. What if, what if your nose just keeps whistling? You do not want to be in one of the fucking smart grid cities. I'm telling you, bro. It's going to be fucking a jail. It's going to be a jail. It's going to be a fucking reverse jail where you think you're free, but you're jailed. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Fuck it. And that's Everywhere you and go is called a pod. That's a different. Cell. That's different from now, <laughs> huh? <I'm just> <laughs> right? No. Uh... Get, uh, That's scroll, crazy, scroll, scroll though. Go back to the left here, because he keeps talking about all these sensors and shit, dude. Now they're gonna sell it to you. For example, a biodigital device could be implanted in a patient's body to monitor their vital signs. Can you uh, scroll down just a little bit, too? I can't anymore. I can scroll up. Yeah, that'll be fine then. Good. Vital signs. Uh, oh shit. A biodigital device could be implanted in a patient's body to monitor their vital signs and transmit data to their health care provider in real time. This could enable doctors to detect and respond to health issues more quickly and accurately than ever before. Yeah, but they're gonna be you're gonna be getting fucking locked in, bro. As soon as they detect anything's fucking wrong with you. In <laughs> agriculture, biodigital convergence could help farmers optimize crop yields by spraying more pesticides on all of your food, dude. <laughs> And reduce waste by using sensors and other digital tools to monitor soil moisture, soil moisture, plant health, and other factors. Yeah, they already do all that, right? Yeah. While biodigital convergence offers many potential benefits, there are also concerns about how it impacts on privacy, security, and ethical consideration. As more data is collected in a biodigital, biological and digital systems, there's a risk that data being misused or hacked. There's also the need to consider the ethical implications implications of manipulating and controlling living organisms using digital technologies wow go figure man no way despite these challenges but dude no one no one even like thinks about that man they're just like sign me up to get chips dude i don't think i don't think i don't think a majority of the people are worried about the ethics of that they don't see an invasion of privacy they don't see 
anything like that. I mean, there's people out there that do. I think it's the minority, still. though, man. Oh yeah. wait, wait. You're saying uh, they go do like beginner stage medical trials? Yeah, they like sign up. Of course, up yeah. And they, like, but I, I, I'm like, as far as like an end product thing, right? Like, if you had to like consent to the new fucking Apple Watch being implemented inside of you, and you had to consent to it, monitor be wild, everything, though. and fucking doing all that, dude, d- dude, Are no you one would it? fucking care. Could you could you imagine you just went to the cell phone store? Could you imagine walking in there and then being like, "All right, Eddie," and you sit down on a tape like a chair. It's like and and you're like at Im- the fucking they like dentist implant office. some shit right behind and your <laughs> eye, and they like put a little controller a ro- in your. A wrist. robot's just gonna install it. It's a quick procedure, less than ten minutes. Ed. I'm just here for a phone. <laughs> like I'm just here for a phone, people. Well, dude, this is. But the it's iPhone. part of your plan, Eddie. Five dollars a month. That's all you gotta pay. <laughs> this is the thirty-third <laughs> iPhone. Bro. Really, you're five dollars a month. You telling me you get a free bag of peanuts and a soda? And they're like, "Look, Eddie, if you don't do this, you're gonna be left behind." <sighs> what do you do? <laughs> did David do it? I'm gonna say, did did a guy named David Nelson come through here? <laughs> like, and she goes, wait, "Yeah, I just I, did him." If I get chipped, he, you're getting chipped. He might, he I'll, might be I'll on chip. a different. I'll get chipped. If might, David gets chipped, I'll get chipped. He might be no, on a different. Oh, dude. I think he's got T-Mobile. <laughs> dude, that's how they're gonna get you now. They're just <laughs> now they just have to chip me to chip you. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna clone me and then chip it and they're like look uh, look at we chip dave the, look, come get your chip ed come on and then i'll said, ask you something that you only said. how many pies was it on the roof that day <laughs> <laughs> only you would know that <laughs> there's that's no gonna, way that ever made it to the internet it's gonna pull up that no it's gonna pull up that episode it's gonna find that file david where was the bag on what side <laughs> of the road <laughs> Quick trick question. 50, 50. Was it a highway, David, or a main road? <laughs> trick question. I'm going to say parking lot. <laughs> I knew it was you, AI. <laughs> pa, pa. Oh, shit. Crazy. The Industrial Revolution. All right. I mean, I feel like, you know, going back to that, the, the, what was it? The, the, the fourth revolution thing here. I mean,. Just looking at the list, it's like over here. The appendix was pretty cool, yeah. Like we're we're already here. This is like this is like when all this shit starts. You I, know. Implantable technologies, check right. Keep in mind this book was written in 2016. Right, right. Keep in mind, people well, published in 2016. I should say that's that's number one. Number two, our digital presence, vision as the new interface. Number three, wearable inter- Number yeah. four, wearable internet. You, you already have that. That's what you're doing with your smartwatches. Wow. Number five. Utopian, oh, unambiguous corrupt computing. Computing. You, you oh, what is that? What's word? that? Unambiguous. Unbig- um, yeah, I think so. What is what is what is what that? Did that? So it's like what did that be? Click on it. Let's see. It's like yeah, it's like com- computing, yeah. like just through thought. I think. Telepathic. Who, who, who's thought? You're on the telepathic stuff now. Hmm. Like your own thought. Your thoughts, my thoughts, everyone's thoughts. So we're just thinking about eating chicken wings. It's just talking about, I think, how like Blue access cheese. to computers and the internet's just uh, going to be... And you throw it up there weird. and then so everybody's thinking about it. The whole world is going to have access to this. Look, we don't, even have, we don't even have scratch and sniff TV yet. So. I mean, you didn't have servers in here like just a couple minutes ago, I thought. Right. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I mean, going back to the fucking appendix shit. What else was Klaus right about? Oh, Schwab. Um, it's the Schwab, not I mean, the whole life. document. Just goes into how, like each department of how it's impacted, right? It's the Schwab knock life for us. And essentially, the tipping point is when all these mega trends hit. So, like autonomous vehicles, the three D printing, three D. It's printing, the Schwab knock life. The AI, the, the, the whole Internet of Things for the digital connectivity. Right. And biological. Digital biological right next to each other, bro. Digital dude. and biological. This guy was already thinking about it in 2016, dude. The bio digital convergence shit didn't even get rid to like 2020, 2021. Damn. Yeah. Designer beings and neurotechnologies, man. That's the scary. We, we, right we, we got designer babies now. What are they talking about? Yeah, you don't like your body. You just put you in a new one, dude. That's crazy. You just chip you in a new. Mm-hmm. Just chip you in a new one. Well, I think yeah, we're. I think we're a while away from that. With you. 
All right. Yeah, we're are we we're we're far away from that. You think? What? What? It? I think I'd we're say, beating down the door on all of it. I'd no, say like, yeah. I'd say like eighty years. Maybe. That's what's getting really scary. No, I th- I think we're. No, the super intelligent AI is coming like within fucking five, bro. I think five, we're so 10, much closer to them. Yeah. Twenty max, dude. Do you guys remember that movie? Um, it was like the Eye, with like Shia LaBeouf or whatever. Mm. It was like Eagle Eye. You remember Eagle that movie? Eye. I I heard of Eagle Eye. It was, and it was like this AI robot that had like access to all the surveillance cameras like all over the nation. Mm-hmm. And they got like fixated on like Shia LaBeouf's character for whatever fucking reason or some shit, right? So it's like chasing him down, trying to kill him the whole time. I forget like what the whole reasoning was or whatever. Behind <laughs> why? Yeah. Oh yeah. Damn. Look at this dude. They're fucking pre-programming you, bro. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, we're gonna be showing you the the predictive pro the predictive. That shit came out right before there. this this article. Your fucking genes are related to Hitler. You got to be taken out, bud. Dude, Hollywood got all, all the insider one. information. Yeah. They ran out of ideas. They gotta get. They gotta start making factual shit now. Well, up, it's uh, not fiction anymore. Pull up some of these bio digital convergence links here, Chris. They're pretty cool. Got uh, a couple other things you guys could check out if you want to dig a little deeper. There's a document called Bio Digital Convergence, made by some people in some Canadian university. But it, it we already kind of went over uh, a summary of what it did. But there's a lot of really cool links down here at the bottom that you can check out too. Uh, Cyber Polygon, another PDF you could look at. And uh, I think that was it, right? We'll put all these links in the description. AI people. We're going everywhere to YouTube, Instagram. AI people. We'll link it all. It's coming to get us. AI people. You guys are living it with us, so. Smart City is coming to a scene near you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's read the, uh, I just want to read the fake article from, uh. That bio digital convergence S- thing. Smart houses first. They were making. They're making smart houses what, first. What and article? Then... Go to the bio digital convergence. Really? So, it, so it's a uh, theoretical look at like how a uh, possible thing could be in the future. I wake up to the sunlight and salty coastal air of the Adriatic Sea. I don't live anywhere near the Mediterranean, but my AI, which is also my health advisor, has prescribed a specific air quality scent and solar intensity to manage my energy levels in the morning <laughs> and has programmed my bedroom to mimic this climate. Can you uh, scroll up a little bit? Scroll down. Thank you. The fresh bread seeds grown in my building for re- from regenerating fungi are better than I imagined. I feel restricted and arrested and ready for the day. I need to check a few things before I get up. I send a brain message to open the app that controls my insulin levels and make sure my pancreas is optimally supported i can't imagine having to inject myself with needles like my mother did when she was a child now it's a microbe transplant that auto adjusts and reports on my levels everything looks all right so i checked my brain's digital interface to read the dream data that was recorded and processed in real time last night my therapy app analyzes the emotional responses christian and expresses scroll up a little bit and expressed while I slept, it suggests that I, I have time to take. I should take time to be in nature this week to reflect on my recurring trapped in a box dream, dude. I fucking wonder why, cause she's in fucking pod, bro. <laughs> and uh, and embrace a health helpful subconscious neural activity. My AI recommends a forest day, and I think okay. And my AI neural implant does the rest, schedules it all for her. The summary uh-huh. of my. Bug bot surveillance footage. Why even be alive? Shows that the apartment was safe from intruders, including other bug bots, dude. Bug that shit's bots? wild, right? Like people are worried about fucking drones being, or birds being drones. Bug they're, bot. Yeah, they're talking to you about your fucking bug bot surveillance system. Your fucking flying mosquito that goes. Oh, listen to this. Right? Wait, till she talks, starts talking about her dragonflies, dude. Shows that my apartment was safe from intruders, including other bug bots last night. But it does notify me that my herd of little, little cyber dragonflies are hungry. They've been working hard collecting data and monitoring the outside environment all night. But a number of mosquitoes and lime-carrying ticks they normally hunt to replenish their energy was smaller than expected. With a thought, I order some nutrient support for them. My feet hit the regenerative carpet, and I grab a bathrobe. Although I don't need to for warmth, my apartment's gradually warming up to a comfortable 22 degrees, which is like 71 Fahrenheit. 
as it cycles through a constantly shifting daily routine that keeps me in balance with the time of day and season. Building codes and home energy infrastructure synchronized. Sounds like a lot of money. Yeah. It sounds like they're fucking the whole fucking future that they want to plan out for you. dude. This is just another detailed look of that 2030 girl. It's, That's crazy. I, hi, I'm from 2030. I own nothing, and I've never been happier. Right. Yeah. I replaced the smart sticker that monitors my blood chemistry, lymphatic system, and organ function in real time. It's hard to imagine the cost and suffering that people must have endured before personalized preventative medicine became common. <laughs> Dude, this is the propaganda piece, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and then and then and then we start spinning the conspiracy aspect of AI technology. She starts. She starts. She goes to her fucking fridge. It, it says your microbiome's bad. You get miso soup today. <laughs> it's like a soy product. Of course, they have to push the soy product because that's the fucking it's the only one they want to grow. Soy. It's easy. It's easy. It's more sustainable. It's just su- easy. <laughs> it suggested miso soup. As part of my breakfast, because my bio, my biome needs more diversity as a result of recent stress and not eating well last night. <laughs> so it tracks everything. Yeah, you're in prison, bro. You're getting monitored everywhere. Why live? But this is your, this is the utopia. I mean, if you I can, want. I, can I have a roommate? She couldn't imagine living any other way, dude. Can I have a roommate? <laughs> she couldn't. Doesn't I mean, I sound guess, that bad. Doesn't sound <laughs> that bad. You never leave? You never get to leave? Uh, I mean, Man, I'm, you I'm sure your... you get to leave when, when she fucking... Well, no, because her work meeting's digital. She's about to like hook up and do some digital meeting, too. Yeah, I thought she you digitally got your goes robot to the forest. Too, right? Huh? Yeah, your robot, too. I thought she digitally goes to the forest. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Simulates it. You guys seen that new building they're building in Dubai? It's going to be like all of the walls are augmented reality. And they have like walls within walls and rooms within. Yeah, rooms. And it's like an invisible city or some shit. Yeah, they're gonna be able to do whatever the fuck they want in there. You're gonna be able to go out to the fucking Jupiter. Really? Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. You going? Dude, Dubai actually sounds kind of cool. There's like, I got a passport. Let's go. There's like no income tax. It's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I hear if you spit on a street though, you get arrested. I heard you can't twerk there either. Which is funny because like Instagram models like going there. To twerk or? Oh, I guess not. To, you probably get your to head think about off it. or something, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. In Dubai twerking. Uh, 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 uh. Dubai sees it. You're arrested before so you So yeah, leave. dude. That you can't even leave the country because you were twerk, twerking in a hotel room. Another 2030 article <laughs> for, for the WEF's benefit, dude. That they like just want to love to spread. That's the fucking We'll put it they in want, the description man. for That's sure. sure <laughs> you should all look into it. You should all... Give it some thought. Do you want to live in this new bio-digital world? What What do you think it would look like for you? Thanks for listening. We'll Deuce. see you next time. Deuce. We are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment.